So welcome to my YouTube channel. Once again, I am back with another challenging question today. So here, ABCD is a square and we have to find the value of angle X. And we can see that a triangle that is NMC is inside this square and two angles are given. One is 45 degree and other one is 70 degree. So let us begin solving this question. So first of all, we see that this angle B will be 90 degree. Now focus on this triangle NDC. So in triangle NDC, sum of all the interior angles will be 180 degree. So if one angle is 90, other is 70, so the third one will be 20 degrees. Likewise, if we see this angle C, this will be 90 degree. Again, because ABCD is a square, so this angle will be 90 degree. Now, this angle is made up of three angles. First angle is 20, second is 45, and third will be this angle. So, these three angles must sum up and give us 90 degree. So, this will be 25 degrees because 25 plus 45 is 70, 70 plus 20 will be 90. Moving ahead, let us focus in triangle MBC. Here, this angle B will be 90 degree because ABCD is a square, the same reason. So, this angle is 90 and this we have found 25 degrees. So, the remaining angle will be 180 minus sum of these two angles. So 180 minus 90 will be 90, 90 minus 25 will be 65 degrees. Now we are very close to finding this angle X. In order to proceed ahead, we have to do one construction here. And the construction is to draw a line segment from point C such that it makes 20 degree. We have to stop at 20 degree. Okay, So 20 degree. So let us stop here this angle is 20 degree. So this is our construction. Next we will produce this line AB so that it intersects this already uh, drawn line segment and let us name this point as point P. So in triangle BCP by construction we have taken this angle as 20 degree. This angle will be 90 degree. So, this third angle will be 180 minus 90 minus 20, that is 70 degrees. Now, let us focus on these two triangles, angle NDC and angle PBC. So, if we compare the internal corresponding angles, we will find that this angle is 90. So, the corresponding angle is 90 here. Here internal angle is 70, so here also another internal angle is 70. This angle is 20, so here corresponding angle is 20. So we can say that by angle, angle, angle congruence, triangle NDC is congruent to triangle Corresponding to N, we will have point P. So P corresponding to D, we will have point B. And corresponding to C, we will have point C. So by AAA congruence, these two triangles are congruent. Now from here, we can say that side NC is congruent to or equal to side PC. So from here, we get NC is equal to PC. You might be wondering why they are equal. They are equal because if you prove that these two triangles are congruent, then we have a property of congruent triangles that the corresponding parts of corresponding triangles are equal, which we write as CPCT. CPCT means, in short, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So you see corresponding to NC we have side PC so they must be equal. So this is what we have got from here. Now let us compare 
triangle MPC, this green shaded region, and this triangle NMC. So here, if we see side MC is common, so MC is common for both the triangles. Also, we can see that this angle will be 25 plus 20, that means uh, 45 degree. And inside this yellow triangle, this is 45 degree. So we can say that angle NCM is equal to angle PCM, which is equal to 45 degree each. So this angle is equal to this angle. And uh, we have already found PC is equal to NC from here. See? So PC is equal to NC. So we can see that this side MC is common. This side PC is equal to NC. And the included angle between them, between the sides, are equal. So by side angle side congruency, we can write by SAS congruency, triangle NCM is congruent to triangle PCM, right? By SAS congruency, we can say that triangle NCM is congruent to triangle PCM. Now after this, by CPCT, that means congruent parts of congruent triangles are equal. So we see that we can map angle N with angle P, angle C with angle C, which is common, that is already equal, 45 degree each, and we can map angle M with angle M. So you see, for this yellow triangle, angle M represents angle X, and for green triangle, angle M represents 65 degree. So from here, we can say that these two angles are equal. So X will be 65 degrees. So if you want to get more such interesting videos, do subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.